Hi, my name is Matthew Carpenter and today I'm going to show you how you can automate VMware vFabric Application Director and use it for self-service application deployment. So the first thing I'm going to do is log into VMware Service Manager Cloud Provisioning as the Code Nebulous Lead Developer and move to the catalog to see what items are available to him. In this example I'm going to be ordering the Duke's Bank application which comes with Application Director out of the box. First step is to enter some information about the deployment. So I'm going to give it a name. I'm also going to select deployment profile, which determines which cloud I provision the application into, and also a required until date, which is going to set the deployment lease on the vApp in the cloud director. I'm also going to add a description for the vApp so that we can tell what it's being used for. We could also add other fields to this form if we wanted to, such as which project the deployment is being used for. Um, or other fields that might be useful for the approval of the deployment. Clicking the Submit button creates a request. The manager then needs to approve this request in order for the deployment to take place. This approval could be done by replying to the approval email that gets sent out to the manager, but in this case, I'm just going to drill down into the approval on the portal and approve it here. So we'll just fill in the manager's password and then click complete and this means that the workflow will now progress to the provisioning tasks. So let's take a look at that workflow in the Service Manager admin client. If I open up the request you can see the details that we submitted on the portal. If I drill down into the workflow page you can see that we're already part way th through the workflow. The current active task shown in blue is a call out to vCenter Orchestrator if we switch over to the VCO client, you can see the Deploy App Director Blueprint workflow that VMware Service Manager is calling. This workflow essentially compiles a script to be passed through to the Application Director command line interface. The script is made up of the inputs that were provided by the customer on the portal. If we look at the workflow that's currently in progress, we can see that the deployment was scheduled successfully in Application Director and this has been reported by the command line interface. The workflow is currently paused, waiting for the virtual machines in the vApp to be created in Cloud Director. Once it's done this, it can query the vCloud API to get more details about the vApp. So let's log into vCloud Director and have a look what's happening there. If we drill down into our cn-dev organization, which is the cloud that we selected on the portal to deploy the vApp into, we can see that the vApp is currently creating. If we drill down into the vApp, we can see that there are three virtual machines, an app server, database server, and a load balancer, and they're all connected to the network. Switching back to VCO, we can see that the vCloud API has now been queried, the vApp with the same name has been found, and the outputs have been set on the workflow. So now that that's completed successfully, let's go and have a look at the result in Application Director. So if we switch from the uh, Blueprint view into the Deployments view, we can see that there's a deployment currently in progress. And this is the one that we ordered on the portal. If we drill down into that deployment, we can review details about it. We can view details about the application and also the cloud environment that it was deployed into. When you deploy an application, Application Director creates an execution plan. This is automatically generated from the dependencies that we specify when designing our blueprint. From here we can monitor the progress of the installation of the application. The two large boxes that you can see on the screen at the moment represent two out of the three virtual machines that are being deployed. Inside these boxes we can see the separate middleware and application components that are required for the application to be deployed successfully. In this example, we can see that MySQL, the database server, has already been installed and configured and the database creation script has been run successfully. We can see that currently, Application Director is installing the JBoss server. And once that's complete, it'll go on to configure it, start it, and deploy the Duke's bank application. If we scroll down, you can see that the Apache load balancer installation hasn't begun yet. 
and that's because it's paused waiting for the JBoss installation to complete. Again, these dependencies are coming from the blueprint. So you can see currently the Dukes Bank application itself is being installed. Once that's complete, we should see the load balancer installation kick off. Once the installation is complete, it will configure the load balancer, start it up, and then our installation is complete. If we go back to the details page and refresh, we'll see that the deployment was completed successfully. And if we scroll down, we can view details about each virtual machine that was deployed, such as networks, IP addresses, and we can even access the virtual machine consoles from here too. So if we just have a quick check in Cloud Director, we can see that our virtual machines are now powered on and active. And the state of the vApp is running. Let's move back into our customer portal to see how this appears for the end user. If we click on the My Items tab, we can see our Dukes Bank vApp. If we click on that, we'll get some details about the vApp itself. And we can drill down into the virtual machine details and look at the IP address for the load balancer. So let's go and check that our Dukes Bank application is actually working. To make it easier, we could put this URL on the portal or you can send it out in an email. So there you can see a fully working multi-tiered application deployed via self-service in a matter of minutes. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out VMware.com.